The L. Vanton U. Maine Society in South Haven is trying to get a, a prosthetic for an injured cat who had to have both front legs amputated. The video can be hard to watch, but the cat is recovering well from the surgery. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains how the community is working to help. The cat was named Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the Al Van Humane Society is working to nurse him back to health. Hi, sweet boy. With only two legs, Tyrannosaurus Rex will have to learn how to navigate life in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> The staff at the Humane Society in South Haven received the cat on Monday after someone found him under their boat in Covert Township. We didn't know the extent of his injuries while he was in the carrier, and then we pulled him out and said, oh boy, <laughs> that's not one that you see every day. Um, and we immediately got him looked at by our <laughs> shelter vet. The cat, who the shelter calls T-Rex for short, had to have his legs amputated by a specialist. Given his great disposition and he's super friendly and purring and wanting food and pets, we were like, he deserves a chance, you know, because um, he certainly has the attitude. The staff says they didn't know what caused the injury. It's very possible that he could have gotten caught in like a snare trap that you would use for coyotes or, you know, other animals. Um, it's also possible somebody did it to him intentionally. T-Rex has already been neutered, so the staff thinks he was likely someone's pet, but no one has claimed him. While they've treated animals who needed amputations in the past, they haven't seen anything to this degree. We've not had a cat that's had like both on one side amputated. Um, it's usually been like one limb. The Humane Society has already seen a lot of interest in adopting the cat and is looking for a home that can manage his needs. Um, we're hoping maybe we will be able to raise the funds for prosthetics or find somebody who's willing to make prosthetics for him maybe. T-Rex is still on pain medicine while he recovers from the surgery, but is already showing signs he can adapt to not having his front paws. He's definitely going to have some challenges ahead. He's already figuring out kind of the balancing, and he sits more back on his back legs. And once he kind of gets that figured out, I think he'll be in a much better spot. If you want to donate to help the shelter, we've included a link in this story on woodtv.com. In South Haven, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.